Welcome to Tech Mecca YouTube channel. Your go-to resource for comprehensive civil engineering interview preparation. In this video, we delve into essential strategies and insights to help you excel in your upcoming job interview. We'll cover topics such as understanding key civil engineering principles, effectively showcasing your project experience, and navigating common interview questions with confidence. Don't forget to subscribe to Tech Mecca for more valuable content on civil engineering and career advancement. Let's start the video. What are the key responsibilities of a civil site engineer? A civil site engineer is responsible for overseeing construction projects from start to finish. This includes managing on-site activities, ensuring the project follows the design and specifications, coordinating with contractors and subcontractors, ensuring safety standards, and maintaining timelines and budgets. Site engineers also monitor the quality of materials and ensure compliance with local regulations. How do you ensure that a construction project meets safety standards? Safety is a top priority in construction. I ensure safety by following industry standards and conducting regular site inspections to identify hazards. I implement safety measures like proper scaffolding, protective gear, and signage. I also conduct safety training sessions for workers and ensure compliance with OSHA or local safety regulations. Regular safety audits. Difference between one-way slab and two-way slab? One-way slab is supported by beams on two opposite sides, and the load is carried in one direction. It is commonly used when the length of the slab is significantly longer than its width. A two-way slab, on the other hand, is supported on all four sides, and the load is distributed in two directions. It is typically used when the length. How to manage a project when it's running behind schedule? When a project is behind schedule, the first step is to identify the root causes of the delays. I then reevaluate the project plan, possibly reallocating resources, extending work hours, or introducing parallel work processes to make up for lost time. Effective communication with the project team and stakeholders is essential, ensuring that everyone is aware of the new deadlines. What is a slump test, why it important in concrete work? A slump test measures the consistency and workability of fresh concrete before it sets. The test is conducted by filling a cone-shaped mold with concrete, lifting it vertically, and measuring how much the concrete slumps or settles. It is important because it helps determine the water content in the concrete mix, ensuring that the mix has the right consistency for the job. How to handle conflicts with subcontractors or team members on site. Conflicts on site are inevitable, but the key is to address them professionally and promptly. I listen to all parties involved, identify the core issues, and mediate a solution that is fair and aligns with the project's goals. Clear communication and setting expectations early on can prevent many conflicts. Explain the significance of soil testing before starting construction. Soil testing is critical before construction to determine the soil's load-bearing capacity, moisture content, and composition. This information helps in designing the foundation and selecting appropriate construction techniques. Without proper soil testing, there's a risk of foundation failure, uneven settling, or even structural collapse. Soil tests also guide decisions on drainage. What software tools are you familiar with, and how do you use them in your role? I am proficient in software tools like AutoCAD, Revit, and STAAD Pro for drafting designs, structural analysis, and modeling. I also use project management tools like Microsoft Project for scheduling, tracking project progress, and managing resources. I use BIM tools to streamline collaboration between different disciplines, ensuring accuracy. How do you ensure quality control on a construction site? Quality control begins with ensuring that the materials meet the project's specifications. 
I implement quality checks at various stages of construction, from foundation work to finishing. Regular inspections and testing, such as concrete compression tests and rebar placement checks, are conducted to ensure everything is done to standard. I also keep detailed records of quality assessments. How do you approach budgeting and cost control on construction projects? To manage budgets effectively, I first develop a detailed project cost estimate, accounting for materials, labor, equipment, and contingencies. I monitor expenditures against the budget regularly, adjusting resource allocation as needed. I also look for cost-saving opportunities, such as bulk purchasing of materials or optimizing labor schedules, without compromising the quality of the work. What are the types of foundations used in construction, and how do you choose the right one? Foundations are generally classified into shallow and deep foundations. Shallow foundations include spread footings and slab-on grade, typically used for lighter structures on strong soils. Deep foundations, like piles and caissons, are used when soil near the surface is weak, requiring support from deeper, more stable layers. The choice depends on soil conditions. What steps do you take to ensure accurate leveling during construction? Accurate leveling is crucial to avoid structural issues. I use surveying instruments like theodolites, dumpy levels, and total stations to ensure precision. Benchmark references are established at the beginning of the project. I regularly check elevations during construction and cross-check with design drawings to ensure all levels meet the project specifications. What are the common types of cement used in construction, and when do you use each? Common types of cement include Ordinary Portland Cement OPC, Portland Pozzolana Cement PPC, and Rapid Hardening Cement. OPC is used for general construction work, PPC is used where enhanced durability is required, like in coastal areas, and Rapid Hardening Cement is used when early strength development is critical. Explain the importance of water cement ratio in concrete mix design. The water cement ratio is crucial because it affects the strength, durability, and workability of concrete. A lower ratio leads to higher strength and durability but may reduce workability, while a higher ratio increases workability but can weaken the final structure. The ratio is carefully controlled based on the specific requirements of the project, ensuring a balance between strength and ease of application. How do you manage changes to the project scope while on site? Changes in scope, also known as scope creep, are managed through a formal change request process. I ensure that all changes are documented, approved by stakeholders, and that their impact on cost, time, and quality is evaluated. Once approved, I update the project plan, adjust resources if necessary, and communicate the changes to the entire team to ensure alignment. How do you deal with unforeseen ground conditions during excavation? Unforeseen ground conditions are addressed by conducting a thorough risk assessment before excavation begins, but if such conditions arise, I stop work immediately to assess the situation. I consult with geotechnical engineers, review soil reports, and may need to adjust the foundation design or reinforce the excavation site. Safety is always a top priority, A. Eh?